is China, which has been booming industrially for some time. And a region I know that you've done a lot of writing about. Is it an example of an economic situation where the wealth has and does trickle down? Uh, the China has tried to prevent... When you people say trickle down, they usually mean trickle down from wealthy people to uh, the rest of the population. Uh, I'm not sure there are a lot of billionaires that have emerged in China. I don't know whether their wealth has actually trickled down. Uh, it does through uh, companies like Huawei, which is uh, owned by the uh, 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 by the employees there. Uh, but uh, what has created the wealth in China is largely government spending, uh, just like mo- uh, the wealth in America was created f- since the 1930s, very largely. TBA, government spending, uh, so uh, the the assumption that if the economy is getting wealthier, it's trickling down, uh, misses the point that, uh, that most of the wealth is created by government uh, uh, capital investment itself and by governments. Uh, and in China, uh, the uh, money creation and uh, uh, central banking is a public utility, unlike the case in the West. Uh, uh, many of uh, uh, when to the extent that uh, China does have billionaires, uh, this is not something that uh, is supposed to be uh, Marxist. That uh, you you do have people like Jack Ma who who became very very uh, wealthy by being an entrepreneur uh, and creating uh, uh, you know uh, his company. Uh, but the government then said, well, you're going to really have to uh, you know turn your money over to government to spend much more. Uh, the problem is that uh, it, uh, wealth trickles down from the wealthy Chinese uh, to the extent that the government can lean on them to say, you know, you've got to do something with your wealth. Uh, otherwise, uh, you're, we're not going to let you keep, keep it or uh, make the kind of profits you've been making uh, in the past. So uh, uh, China has, uh, uh, China's government has really taken the lead in organizing uh, industry, uh, just as German and his government did in a mixed economy. China is a mixed economy. It's not a uh, simply a uh, a communist or a, a totally socialist economy. It's a mixed economy. That was uh, what made it so much more productive than the Stalinist economy, so Soviet Russia. Soviet Russia didn't really have a private sector, so you didn't have private entrepreneurs developing new things. Uh, uh, the Chinese approach was let a hundred flowers bloom. Of course, uh, we're, uh, we're going to let people see an opportunity to produce something that people need uh, to be uh, productive uh, and make a fortune. Uh, it has to be a uh, decent sized fortune. Uh, the problem that China is coping with now is uh, so much uh, of wealth in China is made simply on real estate uh, and on real estate financing. How do they avoid this, this problem? That's uh, what they're dealing with uh, uh, daily right now, but that's a different problem.